at the heart of the issue, and, and maybe Dudley is struggling to articulate this, and even Fed Chair Powell is wrestling with this idea, is what should the Fed do about the trade war? What do you think? Right. So um, Bill Dudley has come out with a new statement. His initial statement was a bit problematic. So the initial statement suggested to many that the Fed would actually act in a political way. That was how it was interpreted. That was a misinterpretation, but that was essentially what, what Bill Dudley is now trying to, trying to reel back. And why was it a problem, Sarah? Well, part of the reason why it was a problem was because it was interpreted as actually creating the impression that the Fed does take politics into account, that the Fed does act politically. And this, of course, had all kinds of negative collateral potential damage associated with it, such as a call by some for hearings um, at, at the, on the Senate Banking Committee regarding whether there should, in fact, uh, be a Fed that is so politicized. That was the furthest thing from what, um, what uh, Bill Dudley, I think, intended and certainly what he intended for the Fed. So he's now come out with a new statement in which he tries to clarify, to put into a better context what he meant by his, uh, by his initial comments. I'm, I'm not so sure he's dialed it back that much, though. A key line for me, he says, quote, the Fed, this is in his uh, new article, his clarification article, he says, the quote, the Fed needs to be cautious. It does not inadvertently enable the president's trade war with China. But, Nariana, that's still not the Fed's role, is, is it? Yeah, I, I, uh, thanks for having me on. I, I felt that um, Bill's dial back didn't dial back as much as I would have liked. And I, I, I've, I, but I think the Fed itself, uh, you know, it's very important to realize that, like, like myself and, and uh, uh, like my former colleague, uh, Sarah Raskin, we're former Fed people. And the Fed itself has been very clear that it does not act politically in any way. The way that the Fed thinks about the trade war is, it doesn't matter who generates a trade war. It's completely irrelevant. It's just one element of the forecast that take into account when thinking about the proper, appropriate stance of policy. Um, and I think what Dudley seems to be suggesting is, well, you actually want to be taking into account who's generating that trade war and how you might influence that person's decision making. And that, that seems completely inappropriate for a technocratic institution. So how should they be dealing with the trade war? I think the trade war is a, a big source of uncertainty for the economy. It's a drag on economic activity. Um, and you see that in the manufacturing sector, um, and you see it in markets. There's a lot of concerns about downside risk in markets. So I think the Fed is doing the right thing, which is to, to ease in response to that. Uh, then, of course, the big question is how much to ease. And, uh, you know, I think, I think we're moving in the right direction um, along those lines. Uh, Sarah, in terms of the latest data and Fed speak that, that we've had, what, what's your take on the manufacturing PMIs and uh, whether or not we are indeed going to see the easing that's uh, priced in by the market coming up later this month? Right. So I think you're right, Wilf, that the uh, latest manufacturing sector data was not good. This is the first downturn in manufacturing activity uh, in the U.S. that we have seen since I think August 2008. It really uh, is a slip here. And if you probe behind the data, behind the manufacturing data, you do see some cause for concern. You see that in the manufacturing sector, um, um, hiring isn't happening the way you might expect. You'll see in the manufacturing sector data that business investment isn't happening the way you might expect. So we're starting to really see the effect of the tariff war um, on the manufacturing sector. Uh, so um, I, would, I would add to, to Nariana's good answer from before that, you know, in addition to looking at uh, what the markets are doing in response to this data, I think it's important for the FOMC to probe what is happening in the manufacturing sector, to see essentially what is going on um, in reaction to the, to the trade tensions and determine the extent to which that's going to pull things down.